Welcome! This Maximo 7.6 Navigation Basics Training is brought to you by Bonetti, your trusted resource for reliability and enterprise asset management with IBM Maximo. I am Joe Russell, a certified reliability leader and principal consultant at Bonetti. Former Navy Submariner, Navy Nuclear Program, as well as 25 years practitioner of reliability for IBM Maximo. In this tutorial, we are going to be discussing Maximo 7.6 Navigation Basics. Even if you have never worked with Maximo Asset Management Suite before, its navigation, updated fonts, colors, and styling make it very intuitive once you know the basics. For this session, I will be logging into IBM Maximo as a supervisor. It is important to note that depending upon the Maximo add-ons you have, as well as your security group settings, you may see slightly more or fewer options in this system than I will be showing today. Let's begin our journey with the Maximo Start Center. After logging into IBM Maximo, you will be sent to your Start Center. Here is an example of a Maximo Start Center. At the very top of the screen, you will have navigation and informational icons. Each icon has a hover dialog that tells you what it does. This is your home button, which will bring you back to the Maximo Start Center from wherever you are in the application. Next to that is a drop-down list of modules and applications you have access to. This list includes my recent applications. IBM Maximo keeps track of what applications you have used in the past. The bulletin icon will indicate if you have any unread messages directed to you from your Maximo administrators. Next is the reports icon. This drop down will allow you to run BERT reports from the Start Center. The icon that looks like head and shoulders is where you access your default user information, personal information, and password information. The sign out icon is selected to exit the application. It is important that you do not just X out of your browser as this will cause your session to continue to run on the server, which ties up server resources as well as a license if you are using concurrent licensing. The last icon is the help applications. This will take you to self-help resources. This provides help from IBM. Now, we will look at the many ways you can navigate to applications in Maximo. For applications which you use often, the easiest way is to create a hyperlink to that application in the Favorites application portlet. This portlet can be set up as a template and the user 
may add applications by editing the Favorites Applications portlet. If your role includes creating new records, you can use the quick insert portlet and add the appropriate applications. A new feature in Maxmo is the sidebar navigation. As you can see, you have a your list of modules which in turn open to applications you have permission to access. It also has a recent applications list. We will now go to work order tracking application by selecting the work orders module and the work order tracking application. By default when opening an application you will be directed to the search screen. This search screen allows you to enter values to narrow the search for pre-existing records in the application. Those can be exact match searches or use wildcard characters for like searches. You will also notice that the sidebar has changed. Instead of simply a list of applications, it now includes situation-based common actions for use with this application. For a more detailed search, you can select Advanced Search, which allows filtering across many more key fields for that record. Once you fill out your criteria, click the Find button. As you can see, a list of records is returned. Note that on some fields you'll see an information icon. This will open a pop-up giving you more information for the data on that screen. Here we see the details of the asset record. Next we will bring up a single record by clicking on the work order number 1002. Again, the sidebar changes to allow even more detailed common actions and more actions available to a single record. At the top of the sidebar, you will see a field called Find Navigation Item. This allows you to search the available queries without the need of scrolling through the entire list. An example would be if I type the word work order. Now you can see that there are many options available from applications to queries and actions that contain the keywords. If I select new work order icon, the screen will refresh with a work order ready to fill in the details. There are certain field icons on the screen which assist you in filling out your work order. To select a location, the detail menu will allow you many ways to select the current location. If I select Asset Detail Menu, you will see that it has a go to option. It will allow me to hyperlink to another application to find the value and then return back here with that value. We will select asset 1001, a fire extinguisher. If you look at the left hand upper corner, you will notice that your path to the asset application 
from the work order tracking application is shown. This is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumb navigation tracks the steps you have taken in an application and helps you to quickly retrace them. Another icon here is select value. When you click on the icon, it will provide you a list of values for that field. This also indicates that you may not enter any other data. This is used when data consistency is required. We will now return to the Start Center by selecting the Start Center icon. We will now log out of Maximo by clicking on the Sign Out icon. This will bring us back to the login screen. It is now safe to close your browser as my session has ended releasing the server resources and the license I was using. I hope this Maximo 7.6 Navigation Basic Training helps you become more comfortable with the IBM Maximo interface. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at